3.56 in the morning. You may be asking yourself, why am I up at 3.56 in the morning? Well, it's to go find Michael Versteeg. He is cr absolutely crushing the Arizona Trail right now. He's 500 miles in, he has 300 to go, and he's within just over an hour of where I live here in Phoenix. So I feel like I owe it to him as a friend to be there for him this morning, send him off, wish him luck, and uh, potentially run with him for a few miles. So I'm now going. <sighs> All right, it is 5.20 in the morning. I'm out here at the Picket Post Trailhead. Haven't been in contact with Mike this morning, but I'm guessing he's gonna show up here in a few minutes. Hopefully he hasn't left yet. Arizona Trail is just right in front of me. This is mile 500 heading southbound. Uh, when I did my Arizona Trail hike in 2008, I was heading northbound, so this is about mile 300, and yeah, I actually got a ride into town, slept in my own bed, and then was back out the next morning here before heading onward into the Superstition Mountains. So, we'll see if he shows up. How's it going? Hi, Jimmy. What's up? Yo. Need it out? Yeah. I was just wearing that shirt last night. Have you ever been out Rincon Road? Ring Con? Yeah. Is that in this section? It's the northern access to the Gila. It's the only access for the next like 36 miles. Is it on the north side of the Gila, Gila River? Yeah. I haven't driven it. Okay. All right, you guys. All right, he just rolled up. I'm gonna head out with him for about a half hour, um, maybe four miles, and then uh, send him on his way. Yeah, I don't want to keep you. All right, yeah, we got to get moving here. Another, <laughs> another late start, so. Nah, shoot, no. Six right. o'clock? <laughs> You're doing 50 a day, though. I know it, I know it. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'm going to try and get up over 50 today because it's the first runnable. How'd you like that last little hill down uh, to Roosevelt Dam, or the bridge, rather? There's that one section there. That's pretty rocky. That was pretty nasty. Down to the bridge? Yeah. Yeah. Super steep. Sweet. Very, very steep, very rocky. I think that last year. Have a great day. I'm Thanks. glad I got to come out here and see Thanks you for, off. Thanks for coming out, man. Oh, I hell appreciate yeah, man. it. That's awesome. All right, we'll see you. Uh, All right, Michael, have a good day. Thanks, man. Nice All right, man. Meet you. or something oh yeah I could they not drive back up there I mean like it was first of all it was the superstition wilderness There's right not, not a lot of access to begin with and then they overestimated how much time it'd take me to get to the next one you know I, I can only wait around for so much time and before I feel like I'm just out there so I just had to keep going and ended up having to come all the way into Superior before finally meeting up with them and when when I get like that too when I get a little like panicky and I, I'm like super dehydrated and etc cetera, etc cetera, I tend to run like pretty hard and fast too <laughs> it's a little dire last night for sure find anything <laughs> I did find uh, in Queen Creek actually there was a mud hole I sucked a bunch of buggy gross water out of um, so hopefully I don't <laughs> have any repercussions from that today I guess we'll find out
see you in Mexico. Yeah. All right. Later. See ya. I just left Michael, ran with him for four miles, and he's doing well. He's crossed the 500 mile barrier today, and he's got about six days left. Probably try and meet up with him again right at the end of his, his run. But overall, he's in good spirits. He had a couple low days there, but he's back on track and, and feeling good. So. Uh, really fun to be out here and kind of relive a little bit of my hike. I hiked this whole trail in 2008 and always thought to run it but haven't had the time to make that come together so really cool to have a buddy of mine doing kind of the first ever uh, run like through run of the Arizona Trail. <laughs> 